What's up, everybody? This is your boy Uber Hikari, aka the Nerd Nigga, here to bring you another video with no frills, just the analysis. All right, so this video is going to be about the new Rurouni Kenshin manga that's going to be released in Jump. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's Jump, Jump X or Jump Square. Can't rem I can't remember, but it will be released um, in May of 2012, I believe. Uh, and I know that this video is probably overdue. I know a lot of you have probably already heard about the new Rurouni Kenshin manga. Um, but as you can see from the videos I've been putting out for the last two weeks, I had a series of very long videos. I think I put out like four that were over 25 minutes long. So I just decided to get those big, big videos out the way and then do this smaller video. Uh, just more convenient for me. So um, it's looking like 2012 is shaping up to be the year of maybe sequels or some kind of remakes um, because in addition to the new Roni Kenshin manga, we also have the Shaman King Zero chapters and um, there's six, they're going to be six Shaman King Zero chapters. The second one, the first one was on Yo, the second one's going to be on Ren. And then after that, and I believe April, there's going to be the sequel to the original Shaman King manga, Shaman King Flowers. So, um... It's looking pretty good. We got Roni Kenshin coming back. We've got Shion Shaman King coming back. So it's looking pretty good. In addition to that, there's also going to be um, two other projects associated with Roni Kenshin. The first is that there's going to be um, a new anime um, adaptation of the Kyoto arc, um, which is called Shin Kyoto Hin which will be um, a, a retelling of the Kyoto art from the viewpoint of Misao Machimaki, who's the, um, well, the de facto, le de facto leader of the Oniwa Banshu after Aoshi Shinomori left. Um, and there's also going to be a live action adapta adaptation of Rurouni Kenshin as well. So um, it's looking pretty good for 2012. And of course, you know, I'll be reviewing um, all of that. Probably won't be reviewing the live action um, film, though. Um, so I'll post the links in the description box. So just my general thoughts on the idea of this new Roni Kenshin manga coming out in May of 2012. Um, I see one potential problem with this. Um, if you go to the links that, I've, that I'm going to post in the description box below, um, some of them will say um, reboot. So like, you know, it'll say like the, the Roni Kenshin manga is, you know, going to be rebooted. And some people have pointed out that this is actually a problem with the translation from the Japanese to the English. So someone may have mistranslated or there may just be um, a misunderstanding um, of what a reboot means in English as opposed to what it may mean in Japanese. So um, I think this is problematic if it will actually be a reboot. Although I don't think that it is and I'm hoping that it's not. Um, I think that if he decides to reboot Rurouni Kenshin, I think honestly he's gonna fuck it up. I think he's I think he's really gonna fuck it up. Um, if you watch my Rurouni Kenshin review, um, which I posted, I believe maybe about three months back, um, I, I said that 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 Rurouni Kenshin is is a manga that makes a sort of philosophical argument. Um, with respect to how Kenshin will be able to atone for his sins as um, a Hitokiri or as, you know, an assassin or as Batosai the Manslayer. And I think that if he tries to go back and sort of reboot that, then I think he has a ser he runs a serious risk of compromising the sort of philosophical integrity of the story. And so I think we could wind up with something that's, you know, a lot worse than the original one if he decides to reboot the story. Um, personally, I want to see him, you know, have some sort of supplementary story or have, you know, something that amounts to maybe a brief sequel. So some things that I would like to see in the new Roni Kenshin manga um, is things like, you know, um, the relationship between Aoshi Shinomori and Misao Machimaki, um, you know, how is Sonosuke doing? Um, because if you remember at the end of, you know, the Roni Kenshin manga, there was sort of like this um, uh, prologue chapter um, where, you know, Sonosuke Sagar is, you know, traveling the world. And so I'd like to get an update on what he's been doing. Um, also, I'd like to get an update on, you know, how Kenshin and Kaoru are doing. And um, or, you know, if it's not some sort of supplementary material in that aspect, um, I would like to see, you know, something that amounts to maybe a brief sequel, you know, some sort of sequel story that involves, you know, Yahiko or Kenji, who's um, 
Kenshin and Kaoru's uh, son. So those are just some of the things that I would like to see. Um, again, I, I really don't want to see a reboot because I think he'll probably, I think Watsuki Nobuhiro will probably, you know, fuck it up. But um, I am very excited about, you know, the new Roni Kenshin manga series that's coming out in, in May. And uh, like I said, I will be doing, you know, um, monthly reviews of, of those Roni Kenshin chapters. So, you know... Like I said in my review, man, I think Roni Kitchen is probably the best show in the manga ever written. So, you know, I'm I'm just, you know, very excited to see, you know, Watsuki Nobuhiro, you know, bring this story back. Um, and if any of you guys like um uh Watsuki Nobuhiro, he also has a story that's currently going on. Um I I can't remember which, you know, magazine this this is in, either Jump Square or Jump Kai or Jump X. One of those jump magazines, um, but he actually has a st uh, ongoing story that's a, a sort of you know adaptation or sort of inspired by you know Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, um, which is going to be placed on hiatus while you know um, this new, you know new Roni Kinsha material is is being released. So if you like Watsuki Nobuhiro as an author, I would advise you to check out um, you know his story about you know that that sort of story based on. Um, or inspired by Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Um, it, it looks pretty good. I haven't read it myself, but the concepts and the themes that he's working with in that story look look pretty good. Looks pretty solid. Um, also, guys, don't forget um, subscribe to the Cloud Village. Subscribe to my nigga GT the King. Subscribe to my nigga Hawk Goggles. Um, subscribe to GTA Grand Theft Analysis. And don't forget that um, on February 2nd through February 6th, we got another Versus series coming up for you guys. Roni Kenshin versus Yu Yu Hakusho. And you know, I love it. Everybody knows that I've been talking about Roni Kenshin since I started. And I, you know, I love Watsuki Nobu Hero. Um, but I also love Togashi Yoshi Hero. And you know, everybody knows how I feel about Yu Yu Hakusho. And you know that I believe that, you know, Hunter x Hunter is probably the best ongoing Shonen series um, right now. And, but I, you know, I have to choose between these two. So. Like I said, Roni Kenshin is probably the best written shonen manga um, of all time. So you know, I'm down with Team Kenshin, baby. You know what it is. We, I'm, you know, I'm about to get it in. I missed that last versus series between you know Hitman Reborn and you know Fairy Tale. Um, there was, you know, I had to catch up with some of the readings. I'll probably give my first impressions of those. I've read about you know 20 chapters of of each series so far. Um, so I'll be giving my first impressions of those, but as for February 2nd through February 6th, you already know what it is, baby. Team Kenshin. Team Kenshin. So remember, February 2nd through February 6th, Team Kenshin. That's all I got to say. Enough said. So peace out. This is your boy, Uber Hikari, a.k.a. The Nerd Nigga. Just brought you another video with no frills, just the analysis. Peace and have a blessed day.